Hello, welcome to the Middle Kingdom. My name is Adam. In today's video, I want to explore a community here in Nanjing, China that was built in the 1980s. This is a really interesting place. There's a few old vintage shop fronts here, a few products and advertisements. And also there's a community square and a lot of really cool back streets to explore. I've been reading a little bit about the 1980s in China and the 1980s was a really exciting time for Chinese people here. People began to be able to express their creativity. China opened up to the world, beginning to import agricultural products and trade with the outside world a little bit more. People were changing from a lifestyle of poverty to a country that was beginning to become wealthy and grow into the big superpower that it is today. With the new sense of creativity and expression that people had in China in the 1980s, a few prominent Chinese authors came about at this time and they began to explore topics such as human nature, popular culture and romance that people here hadn't really been exposed to in the same way before. Rice, bread, tofu and fish were four of the staple foods eaten widely here in the 80s along with a lot of people also growing their own vegetables. Before the 80s meat was pretty hard to come by so 
when the 80s came and people started to have a little bit more money to spend the economy was improving and yeah meat started to be eaten a little bit more widely here The 1980s was a really exciting time for people living in China. People began to be able to express their creativity. They had a new sense of openness. The country had begun to import agricultural products and people began to experience popular culture from the West, from Korea and different countries. People began to watch movies and read literature from all sorts of different places that they had never been able to access before. Diao 
，做几个多久了？对，我这个玩几十年了。几十年，哇，很长的时间。嗯。啊，好，你们吃饭了吗？吃够了。吃够了，好，再见，拜<笑>拜。I really love Chinese community squares. Seeing all the old people coming together, playing card games, dancing, playing mahjong, and yeah, the community spirit here amongst old people who've retired and like to hang out in the community squares is is really amazing to to see. Shui,有沒有水,可水。飲料,你看哪一種你就拿哪一種。两块钱两块钱好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好
One of the things I like the most about community life here in China is that inside most communities you can find a tradesman who has almost any skill that you could possibly need him to to use and help you out with. You can also find vendors selling almost any food items or household items that you could possibly need. So you don't need to rely on supermarkets or anything else. You can almost always get nearly everything you need inside your own community. ちょっと買いま。いいやん。どうしたちゃん。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ